Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Pure Iron Man. The videos have been doing really well recently and I'm really glad for that. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video if you do enjoy it. And as always, we're going to be looking to get ourselves some nice upgrades for our account and overall just have a good time really. So to start things off, we have got ourselves a Rebs task. We've got 106 as you will see in the top left corner. So we're going to start things off with that and feeling a little bit of Zora and all that other good stuff as well. The bracelets are getting a little bit low, so we do want to pick some of those back up. Um, hopefully we can get ourselves the final drop, which is going to be the crossbow. And then we have all of the wilderness weapons complete. So we're looking to try and get revs tasks as possible. And we're going to be trying to complete the weapons. And then we will still be killing them for ether anyway. But we haven't got to worry about getting a task for that. So we're going to go and find a free world and see how we get on. The emblem trader was right next to us. We got ourselves one Laren's key, a couple of rune plates, and 511k in the looting bag. We got quite a lot of uh, Laren's keys, I think. I don't think we have like a ridiculous amount, but we have a nice amount. So I think I may open them if we do have like a good solid figure. If I've got like five, I'm not going to open them. But let's have a quick look and see how many Laren's keys we do actually have now. We have got ourselves 17. So yeah, you know what? I think I fancy a little bit of a Laren's key opening. Right, so we are at the Laren's chest. Let's hope we can get ourselves some loot. Some steel bars and all that sort of stuff is always very nice. I don't know how many chests we've currently opened. We've currently opened 95. So we're going to start with some dragon arrow tips. Up next, we're going to get ourselves some rubies. That's always handy. Some crafting XP is lovely. PR essence, definitely the worst loot out of them all. Rune plate legs are nice. Means we've got some more GP. More dragon arrow tips will be handy for the end game, I suppose. Rubies are also very, very nice, like we had before. Gold ore is nice, some extra uh, gold bars for bracelets. Dragon arrow tips coming in again, they're actually worth a lot, but they're not really much use. Palm tree seeds aren't really much use either. Room full homes, four of them isn't too bad at all. More room plate legs, which is very, very nice. 81k that's beautiful as well uh, 160 dragon dart tips free remora room plate legs uh, 155k that's very nice and we are going to be more dragon arrow tips again and to end off we're going to get more dragon arrow tips again so we managed to get ourselves two mil in loot from that which is absolutely beautiful i mean it we're getting very very close to a 100 mil bank value now so that's kind of a little goal that I've had for a while. 100 mil bank value is very, very nice, and it means we're progressing our account very nicely. The Alk pile is building up quite nicely as well. We've currently got 3.4 mil in Alks, 1.5 mil of that coming from the Ruby bracelets that we've got. So it will definitely be worth doing that. In the future, we're going to need uh, some more blood runes. We do have 5.4 mil as well, so GP isn't really too much of a worry right now. So we're going to just let the stack build up for a little while. In terms of gems, we do have all these gems still to make. I just can't really be bothered right now, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. We do also have 50 battle staffs there, which is about 300k nearly as well. So that's nice. Once we get all these crafted and made into gems, that'll be beautiful as well. But like I said, I really cannot be bothered right now. Uh, we will get around to doing it at some point. So we're going to carry on with the revs tasks. I just ran through and seen the orcs were actually free. So I think I might try these for a couple of kills. If I get crashed, I'll just go back to demons. But for now, we'll stick with the orcs. So uh, most of these clips have been recorded over the last month. Uh, my voice may sound a little different. I've been a little bit ill recently and kind of just had a little bit of a break. But do not worry, the uh, love for the game is back. We've had a busy couple of weeks uh, in real life, so we haven't had too much chance to play. These are kind of just the clips over the last month or so. Like I said, I haven't been playing too much, so it's nothing too crazy. But we did a couple of kills of Vetion. I'm still hunting the Skull of Vetion, which would be a nice upgrade for the Famarin Scepter. Uh, we're on 132 kill count uh, as of last kill for that, so that is a really nice uh, amount of kills to be getting. We will be on drop rate soon. If we do carry on doing it, like I said, we're going to be going for the Void Waker soon, and we're going to be going for the Revenant Weapon upgrades and yeah like i said it's just a bit of a clip dump really we are back into the swing of things so i thought i'd kind of give you guys a progress update of the last month uh nothing too crazy from the vetion kills really really do enjoy vetion the only annoying thing is that we have to constantly keep recharging the vigorous chain mace but our stats are coming along nicely now so revs and stuff like that will become a lot easier and hopefully we can get ourselves the upgrades along the way uh, so yeah, like I said, we're going to be back playing again. We 
it's always good to have a little bit of a break especially doing youtube and stuff like that there's a lot more extra pressure on getting things out and released and stuff like that 550 cannonball drop is absolutely lovely for the account uh followed by uh, a few blighted super restores and stuff like that which will always come in handy restores are low as well of palm tree seeds and snake skin absolutely terrible that was a nice kill though three minutes 13 isn't too bad at all so i'm definitely happy with that to start next kill we're going to get ourselves some manta rays that's actually good because i have ran out so that's always nice to get some extra food back and we go again so it's been about a week since the last uh clip really i've took a little bit of a break it's nice to take a little bit of a break every now and again um i have absolutely no idea what that <laughs> was all about in the game but we are going to be trying to start some slayer again i want to kind of get back into the game and wildy slayer is kind of doing my head in a little bit this a lot of PKs and it'd be nice to use some different stuff and kind of use my fire cape and things like that so I'm going to try out that we've got a ton of cannonballs in the bank we're going to get ourselves our first task outside of the wilderness I think on the whole account and it's going to be some trolls so that's a nice way to start I'm pretty sure that's not too bad just kind of want to do some different content really it gets a bit boring just killing like mammoths and then getting revs and then it takes ages to kill the revs I know we need the weapons but Kind of just want to mix it up get some slayer done and kind of enjoy the game like it's supposed to be enjoyed really without getting burnt out <coughs> um we have got fifty-seven thousand cannonballs so we should be good for a while we're quite close to unlocking gargoyles which means we can get a granite more which would be quite fun as well uh there's a few other things that will be nice to unlock like net creels and stuff like that so we're going to go and do some trolls went and got ourselves a nice little strength level we're now level 82 in strength so that's coming along nicely i'm using the vigorous chain mace uncharged it's actually better than a dragon skim so if anyone's wondering why i'm using that we've got eight trolls left and that will be task completed as well just got our first ever blood veil task we're gonna go into the zaya dungeon and we're gonna do that hopefully get some totem pieces so decided to go and do a quick corrupted gauntlet and we're going to get ourselves some Addy Arrows, Battle Staffs and Nature Runes. And another one down and we're going to be getting ourselves some Dragon Arrows, Rune Plate Scare, nothing too crazy again. Also been doing um, some corrupted gauntlets, haven't had too much time to be doing those but they do pay out quite nicely you get some rune halberds and stuff like that which is really nice for getting some gp for the account we're on 160 kill count after the end of all this as well the bofa will be our biggest upgrade yet i uh, just really want to get out of the way soon i decided to go and do itch Lorin's little helper and we're going to be going through the desert quests to unlock tombs of Amaska. i thought that would be a nice little idea to do as it will kind of motivate me to get some gear upgrades as the kind of getting a little bit stale so this will give me good motivation and it means we'll be able to get doing some raids which i need to learn myself and hopefully i will manage to complete some alone i know it's not going to be the easiest thing make sure i don't click a uh, defense like last time on the last account but it's some extra attack levels i will be getting 65 attack for the caris for the future so that will be really good to get as well so new plan is to do the beneath curse sands quest i'm actually on the last boss but i don't have a good stab weapon and i've kind of wanted to do this anyway so i am going to go and sell some chaos runes i've got a ton in the bank we're going to get ourselves the obby sword and we're also going to get ourselves um the berserker necklace so that should give us some good stab weapons and it means we'll be able to get that nicely so let's go ahead and sell these and get it all done that's the first patch sold and we are able to get ourselves an obsidian sword which is lovely and the obby sword i need to do my research but i'm pretty sure it is that one a razor sharp sword we'll have that and that is our new best stab weapon we will go ahead and get some more taco and we will be back to get ourselves the berserker necklace there's 20,000 Chaos Runes bought, that's enough for our Onyx. We've actually got the 87 magic level requirement now and we are only 20k away from one level. So I've got a few gems in the bank. I'm going to go and cut these, get the crafting level and then we can use a Poison Chalice to boost for the Berserker Necklace. And here we go, we are about to hit the level 81 crafting which is nice and we're one step closer to our end game level crafting so that's always good. We're going to get out the chaos runes that we have just bought, we're going to take that and we're going to go to Camelot, get ourselves a poison chalice and then we're going to go and make ourselves the berserker necklace. 
And there we have it, another Onyx to our collection. And it means we are getting a little bit closer to completing all of the Onyx jewelry, which is a nice little goal that I've had myself set up out for a little while. Nice to get the kind of completionist of all the things that we need as well. So let's go and make this into a Berserker necklace. Forgot my chisel, but I managed to get the boost. Let's quickly get the chisel out. I completely forgot. I haven't done this for a while. Let's cut the onyx. Let's go to the furnace. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, go, go. Onyx necklace. Beautiful. So now what we got to do is enchant it. And we have got ourselves a berserker necklace. Absolutely lovely. Let's hope that we got enough to kill the boss now. So we managed to defeat the Menophyte boss. Obviously, you would have seen the video previously, potentially. Uh, but yeah, it was a pretty difficult task, but we managed to get it done in the end. And that is going to be quest completed. And that is us to the present day. So we are going to get recording some lovely new content. Like I said, we need to focus on some gear upgrades for uh, some teams of Amaska and stuff like that. So expect the next couple of videos to be a banger. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys soon.